Hi, I'm Rick DeBella from Megger. I'm the National Account Sales Manager and I've been with the company for about 28 years now. I've held various positions including product manager. Megger's been in business for over 100 years. Our primary product line is the insulation testers. The MIT, you'll see in the series, MIT stands for Megger Insulation Tester. The one on the, on the right hand side, the MIT 200, is one of a number of within that 200 series of products. When you look at an insulation tester and you want to select a proper one, you want to look at how it's powered. Some of them are battery powered, some of them are hand cranked, some of them are, hand, are line powered, and we also manufacture combinations of both. When we get down to this area, the 1000 volt insulation testers, they go from 50 volts all the way up to 1000 volts. They're battery powered, and the insulation resistance is the biggest thing to compare one to the other. This one here is basically used for people who have a fleet of trucks. You can select one test voltage, could be 500 or 1000 volts, goes up to 1000 mega ohms. It's usually used for products in the HVAC market, whether the compressor is good or it's bad. It doesn't get into any analytical information because you need higher resistances to do that. The one next to it here, the MIT 320, is a series within that one group of 300s. Again, the difference is in the insulation resistance. And we also see down here in the orange range, we've added multimeter functions to them as well. The difference between this product and this product, everything is the same as far as the electrical characteristics, the test voltages, the insulation resistance. But this has a strap behind it where you could put the strap around your neck and you could stand on a ladder if you'd like and it will be stand out you can just look down at the display and see what the test resistance is the other thing is it has a touch probe where you could plug it into top and instead of having to press the button every time you do a test the button is on the remote probe itself and you could press it when you're going down a terminal block this is probably the most significant product we have in the 1000 volt insulation testers and below. It really was designed with multimeter functions like the other ones. You could do some high and low limits if you'd like. As far as testing is concerned, the insulation resistance, depending on the product you select, could go up to 200,000 mega ohms. When you're dealing with something that large, you're able to capture the value and the resistance starts to drop. You know that there's a problem either in a motor or a cable and you're able to analyze the situation. On this end here, it gives you both an analog and a digital display. It has one test voltage, it's a thousand volts, and it goes to a thousand mega ohms. You can see it's both digital and this is a true analog arc. Okay, it's a patent designed for Mega, and you'll find that on all our insulation testers. This model here has multiple test voltages, plus it has also a voltage and also multimeter functions as well. When we come to the MIT 400 series, the display is a lot more different, a lot different than those. It shows you the digital like the other ones do. It shows you the analog again, but it also tells you the test voltage that you're on. If I press this button here, I'd be able to switch the test voltage to uh, microohms, which is the leakage current. So I could see leakage current and also insulation resistance at the same time. When you look at the display, there are a lot of things you could make happen and, and while you're looking at it. For example, if I wanted to have backlighting, I'd press a button and the whole display lights up. Same thing is with these two products as well. Besides changing it to leakage current, I could do a time resistance test. I could do a polarization index test, dielectric absorption ratio test with it. Just by pressing the button, it does all the calculations on its own. The voltage on this is also true RMS voltage. So whenever you do a test, it'll show you the voltage here and the frequency. And you could also do a test with DC as well. All the products have a sleeping circuit, so if you left it on, it automatically would shut down. For additional information, please contact your T-Equipment product specialist.